Welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are uh, discussing linear equation and this is lecture number 9. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 8 before watching this part 9. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about another uh, elliptic uh, method that is called cross multiplication method. So, let us discuss cross multiplication method. What is this and how to solve this question? How it will be useful for finding the solution of the questions? So, cross multiplication method. There. Cross multiplication. So, there are two linear equations and uh, say a1x cross multiplication method. Multiplication method. Right? Cross multiplication method. This method we have to deal cross multiplication method. So, first uh, let us understand what is cross multiplication method and thereafter we will discuss some questions. A1x plus B1y plus C1 is equal to 0. A2x plus B2y plus C2 is equal to 0. So, cross multiplication is to find value of x, uh, x and y and z, you have to make cross multiplication. So, first close this one. Say, if you close this one, then these four factors are there. Except variable, the constant are b1, b2, and c1, c2. So, b1 multiplied by c2 minus b2 multiplied by c1. So, you should write here that is, uh, there are two ways that you can write here uh, for finding value of x upon if this closed b1, c2 minus b2, c1. b1, c2 minus b2, c1. Again, then write minus y upon, minus y upon plus minus plus s, uh, like this. So, close coefficient of b1. Now, coefficient of x and constant is left. So, if you close this one, this one is closed. Now, close means this one is eliminated, suppose like that. So, a1, c2 minus a2, c1. That will be a1, c2 minus a2 c1 and here is no constant so no variable so we will write 1 now this one is closed so it will be a1 b2 a1 b2 minus a2 b1 like this so further uh, it can be also written as you can take it like uh, 1 2 3 and value of x this will multiply that side and it will be also similarly value of y can be this multiply with this side and negative sign will go to that side if you will get the answer but further it can be written as x upon b1 c2 minus b2 c1 is equal to y upon if you multiply by negative sign then that would be a2 c1 minus a1 c2 is equal to 1 upon a1 b2 minus a2 b1. So, from these three relationship say 1, this one is 2 and this one is 3. So, from first and third, first and third, first and third, we have x is equal to x is equal to what? This will multiply that side. So, it would be b1 c2 minus b2 c1 whole divided by a1 b2 minus a2 b1. That will be x and from second and third, second and third the value of y can be calculated as a2 c1 minus a1 c2, a2 c1 minus a1 c2 upon a1 b2 minus a2 b1. So, value of x and y can be calculated by using these two and that would be the answer. To remember this, the fact, you can write it like uh, here, I am writing this, you can write it like b1, b2, 
C1, C2, A1, A2, B1, B2. Okay, this is B1. So I write that B1. Now uh, you can have some rows in which you can calculate. Diagram is there. You can, uh, if anyone is not able to do it directly, then they can do it like this. Sorry. This one. B1, C2 and minus B2, C1. That will be the value of x. This will be the value of x. So B1, C2 minus B2, C1. Now similarly, if we are looking for this one, that will give this one and minus this one. So that will give the value of y. And now the third one is that will give one. So one upon that one upon a one c two minus a to c1 so the coefficient of numerator and denominator will come like here that is say this one is x this one is y and this one is one so x is equal to what will come you can memorize it like x upon what will come b1 c2 minus b2 c1 b1 c2 minus b2 c1 and what about y y is equal to c1 a2 c1 a2 minus a2 c1 and that is 1 upon a1 b2 a1 b2 minus a2 b1 and this is what comes there uh, you have seen here y is equal to a2 c1 x upon b1 c2 minus b2 c1 and y upon a2 c1 minus a1 c2 minus a1 c2 and uh, 1 upon a1 b2 minus a2 b1. so that is the way to memorize it or uh, just to keep in memory uh, you can use this keep in memory so you can use any one of them either this way or that way and you will be able to find it now this will be a 1, 2 and 3 again you can go ahead the same process and using the fact that from first and second we will uh, write here from first and second first and third x is equal to what x is equal to b1 c2 minus b2 c1 whole divided by a1 a2 a1 b2 minus a2 b1 minus a to b1 from second and third from second and third you will get y is equal to y is equal to c1 a2 minus a2 c1 whole divided by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 so these two will be the answer but in question how to uh, manipulate this and how to deal with uh, this, let us uh, try to understand some questions related to the new chapter and chapter number, that is chapter number 3.5. So exercise 3.5, exercise 3.5. We have uh, each of the following pair of linear equations. Question is given. Each of the following pair of linear equation. 
language of the following pair of linear equation pairs of linear equation linear equations has unique solution has unique solution unique solution no solution no solution or infinitely many solution or infinitely many solution many solution right find it by using cross multiplication find it by using cross multiplication method cross multiplication method multiplication method right so this is what the question is the first question which is given here is x minus 3y minus 3 is equal to 0 and 3x minus 9y minus 2 is equal to 0. So how to deal with this question? So using the fact that here a1 by a2 is what? That is 1 by 3 coefficient of x is 1 coefficient of here a2 is 3. And uh, also b1 by b2 is equal to what? minus 3 upon minus 9 that is also 1 by 3 and c1 by c2 is what? c1 by c2 is minus 3 divided by minus 2 that is 3 by 2. So clearly here a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2. Since here a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. It means they represent they represent parallel lines, parallel lines, and hence system is inconsistent. System is inconsistent and has no solution has no solution. So this system has no solution. Now we will uh, solve question number 2 and question number 2 is given like 2x plus y is equal to 5 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 8. Here a1 by a2 is 3 by 2 by 3, isn't it? a1 by 2 is 2 by 3 and b1 by b2 is 1 by 2. Since a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, therefore then that for system is consistent, consistent and has unique solution and has unique solution unique solution now uh, we have to obtain this solution by using cross multiplication so we will write here 2x plus y is equal to 5 or even minus 5 is equal to 0 you can take it there is no problem and 3x 3x You write it 3x, 2x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0 and 3x plus 2y minus 8 is equal to 0. So we we'll write by cross multiplication, by cross multiplication, by cross multiplication, multiplication, we can write it x upon minus y upon and y upon. So, if you close this one, then product of this coefficient is 1 multiplied by minus 8 is minus 8 minus 2 multiplied by 5 is minus 10. 
So it will be minus of minus 10 that e plus 10. I have to got it. Y this is closed. So minus it multiply by 2 is minus 16 and minus 3 multiply by minus 5 is minus 15. So it will be plus 15. Now this is closed. 2 into 2 is 4 and 3 into 1 is 3. So 4 minus 3. That is uh, 1. So further we can write it like further we can write the solution here as let us see what will come. Uh, if I am writing this then this will be x upon what will come 10 minus 8 is 2 and that will be y upon minus 1 but minus minus cancel so y upon 1 and 1 upon 1. So using first, second and third from first and third from first and third you have x equal to 2 and from second and third you have y is equal to 1. So x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 is the solution of this question. x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1 is solution. Next solution. I hope you got it. x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1. You can just check it. If you put 2, you put 2 of 4 plus 1 is 5, that is true. So in this way, you can find the solution. Now the next question is, question number 3. And 3 is there. Question number 3 is there. That is 3x minus 5y is equal to 20. And 6x minus 10y is equal to 40. Again, you will write here. Since uh, a1 by a2 here. a1 by a2 is 3 by 6. That is 1 by also b1 by b2 is equal to minus 5 by minus 10 that will be also 1 by 2 and c1 by c2 is 20 upon 40 that is also 1 by 2. So here since a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 therefore they will represent coincident line. Hence, the system is consistent, system is consistent, consistent, represent coincident line, coincident line, lines, and hence, it has infinitely many solutions, infinitely many solutions no need to find it because it is, has no unique solution it has infinitely many solutions so we cannot use it cross multiplication here we will use it only in case of unique solution now question number four and question number four is there that is x minus 3y minus 7 is equal to 0 and 3x minus 3y minus 15 is equal to 0. Here a1 by a2 is equal to 1 by 3. b1 by b2 is equal to minus 3 by minus 3 that is 1. So since a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 hence therefore system is consistent and has unique solution and has unique solution unique solution as they will represent intersecting line intersecting lines and two lines will intersect at one and only one point now by cross multiplication you have to deal with by cross multiplication so by cross multiplication multiplication we can write it x upon 
and minus y upon and 1 like this. So, if you multiply by this coefficient of x is 1 here and minus 3 there. So, 1 multiply by minus 3 is minus 3 minus 3 multiply by 3 is minus 9. Similarly, if you closed y cover up y then coefficient of x and coefficient of this will multiply. So, minus 15 multiply by minus 1 that is minus 15 minus 7, 3 are 21, minus 21. And if you close this portion, then 3 multiplied by 1 is minus 3. And this 3 multiplied by minus 3 is minus 9. So, it will come finally like uh, minus 3 plus 9, that is x by 6 is equal to, here this is plus 21. So, 21 minus 15 is 6. So, y upon minus 6 and that will be 9 minus 3 that is 6, 1 upon 6. So, from 1st, 2nd and 3rd we can say this is 1st, 2nd and 3rd, isn't it? So, we can write here from 1st and 2nd, 1st and 3rd, x is equal to 1, 6, 6 cancel now, 6 will multiply this as 6 by 6 is 1. And from second and third, y is equal to from second and third. What is that? y upon minus 6 is 1 upon 6. So, y is equal to minus 1. So, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1. That is the solution. This is the solution. I hope you got it. Okay. Now, let us solve one more question of this category that is question number 2. So, question number 2 is there for which value of a and b it is written for which value of value of a and b does the following pair of equation does the following pair following pair is the following pair of linear equation pairs of linear equation equations have infinite number of solutions have infinite number of solution number of solutions So, the question is here given that uh, 2x plus 3y is equal to 7 and a minus b into x plus a plus b into y is equal to 3a plus b minus 2. This is the first part of the question, right? And there will be another part also. So, we will see this for infinite solution, infinite number of solution, what is the condition for infinite solution, for infinite solution, infinite solution condition is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. So, if this will satisfy, then what will happen? 2 upon a minus b is equal to 3 upon a plus b is equal to 7 upon 3 a plus 3 minus 2. That will satisfy. So, from first and second, this is first, this is second, this is third. We can use it from first and second. We have from first and second we have 2 upon a minus b is equal to 3 upon a plus b. This employee 2 a plus 2 b is equal to 3 a minus 3 b. So, that will be uh, 3 b will come this side a is equal to 5 b. This is equal 
seven four. Now from first and third or second and third you can take any one of them. First and third two upon a minus b is equal to seven upon three a plus b minus two. So if I use a is equal to five b, then what will happen? A is equal to five b, then five b minus b is equal to seven upon five into three fifteen b plus b minus two, and that will be two upon four b is equal to seven upon fifteen plus one sixteen b minus two two to the four. So two b multiplied by seven is fourteen b. This employee fourteen b is equal to sixteen b minus two. Sixteen b minus two, and fourteen b come this side. So two b is equal to two, and this employee b is equal to one. So b is one. Now you can use any one of them. A is equal to five b. Since a is equal to five b. And therefore, five into one that is five. So b is one and a is five. A is five and b is one. A is five and b is one. That is the solution. Solution of this question, right? The second part of this is second part. I can write here. The second part is this one. For which value of, for which value of k will the following pair of equation will the following pair of pair of In the following pair of following pair of linear equation has no solution. Linear equation has no solution. No solution. All right. So the question is: three x plus y is equal to one, and two k minus one into x. Plus k minus one into y is equal to two k plus one. So now we will write the solution. What is that? For no solution, right? We have no solution. So we write solution. For no solution, a one by a two is equal to b one by b two is not equal to c one by c. So we will use this, and therefore, three upon two k minus one is equal to one upon k minus one should not be equal to one upon two k plus one. So using the first two, we have three k minus three is equal to two k minus one. Three k minus three is equal to two k minus one. So two k will come this side. Three k minus two k is equal to three minus one, and k is equal to two. So if k is equal to two, then that will be one. Two minus one is one. That will be also one, and that will be two into two four plus one five. So one by five. So this will be one one, and this will be one by five. So they are not equal. So clearly, for k is equal to two, there is no solution. So therefore, for k is equal to two, the system, the pair of equations has pair of linear equation equation has no solution, has no solution. Right? I hope you got it, isn't it? So these are few questions which we have discussed. And some more question we will discuss in uh, after the break, and uh, we will discuss remaining questions uh, by using the same cross multiplication and application of questions. Uh, we will also discuss after the break. So till then, keep watching and uh, 
revise the remaining what you have learned till now. Okay, thank you.